how do you source uh, the property management company then if you've never been to the city, you know, not having the network that already set? So I hire the people in the cities that I'm investing. They are the experts. Like Zillow is not an expert. Like all these websites, they're not experts. Who are the experts? It's the people living there in the city. Now, to answer your question about how to find the right property manager. So I look up everything from Google searching for property managers. I go on to Yelp. I go on to Craigslist. I even go into rental properties. And here's a quick tip I'll give you as a coach. I give this to coaching students. A quick tip. If you're looking at a bunch of rental properties and you see the same phone number for a bunch of different properties, that's probably a property manager. Give them a call because you know they're actively managing properties. Give them a call and ask them, hey, do you manage properties? I've done that many times. So those are just a handful of ways to find great property managers. I personally, I do not go right away with realtors, uh, mortgage or or real real estate mortgage brokers. Like I don't do that, not mortgage. uh, Yeah, real estate agents. I don't go with real estate agents. The reason why you know, real estate agents are going to be kind of upset at me, but they're a dime a dozen. I mean, they really are. Anybody can get a real estate license, like literally anybody can. And I don't want a real estate agent that is going to be, they're going to say, hey, look at these drapes. Look at how pretty this is. Like, I don't care about that. How much money is it going to make me? That's what I want to know. I need an investor real estate agent. And so you can absolutely talk to realtors and get referrals for property managers. That's another great way to do that. I just put real estate agents last in the process of building the business because I also, because what happens to you, you're going to find a realtor that has in the same company, a property management uh, company or a portion of their company, which in turn, I wouldn't say it's a conflict of interest at all, but they're automatically going to refer their own property manager. They might get kickbacks. They might have something like that. I love to build my business I want to pick everybody myself. Just like if you're going to start a convenience store, you're not going to do everything, spend thousands and thousands of dollars to build the business and then grab somebody off the street and say, hey, you you got a, a pulse? Come in here and manage my business, manage my money, manage my inventory and do everything in my business. No, you're going to interview. So I try to, that realtors are one way to find property managers. Like you said, Google, um, Yelp, Craigslist, all these are great ways to find property managers. And then here's the big tip. We interview them multiple times. And a texting is not an interview. Email is not an interview. Phone calls are interviews. I call them and talk to them multiple times because I make sure that they can call me back, that they're trustworthy as, as much as I could tell them from the phone because everybody has a good sense of personal uh, trust from somebody just by talking on the phone. And then, will they even call you back? Because if a property manager does not call you back when they don't have your money and don't have your business, imagine how hard it's going to be if they right. for them to call you back when they actually have your money. Like, oh, this guy again? Oh, I don't want to talk to them. Boom. Because right. they have your money. Yeah, because I've made a mistake on this once before. Uh, try to save 2% of property management fee um, and they're giving someone too much of a chance that person didn't call me back. And of course, the end results is hiring that property management cost a lot in terms of management. So definitely subscribe to that as well. Um, and so well, that's let me pause the- that. Let me, let me say that one, one, yeah. one, add one thing. Cause I just, I get a lot of people, a lot of my students ask me, well, Dustin, how do you afford a property manager? Like they're expensive. Like I, can't I just save that money? But here's the thing. I don't get a job to pay for my property manager. No, I account for that as an expense before I buy the property. And so Elisa, you'll definitely understand this. I don't mm-hmm. pay my mortgage. I don't pay my insurance. I don't pay my taxes. I don't pay for my property manager. I don't pay for repairs. I don't pay for any of that stuff. My tenants pay for every bit of that. Now the money so happens the money comes into me back out through all these two, all these bills, but I account for those expenses, especially the property manager. And then I tack on, I make sure that I can make $250 or more in passive income from every single property because I verify how much I could rent the property for. Now here's the reason why I think $250 a month, because I love having passive income. $250 a month, because I knew I want to reach FI. I want to get financially independent. I said, honey, how much money do we need every single month to cover our expenses? Basically, what are our expenses? And she, I remember this number, $4,200. We need $4,200 mortgage, payments, all that sort of stuff. And so I said, okay, this just sounds like easy math. One property at $250 a month, that's $3,000 a year in passive income. Like, that's great. 10 properties at $250 a month, that's $2,500 a month. $30,000 a year in passive income. 
20 properties is $5,000 a month, $60,000 a year in passive income. And you just scale it from there. Eventually mm -hmm. I got to six figures and I'm like, oh my goodness, why am I, I'm making $75,000 a year this job, but I'm wasting my life. I'm losing money. Let me quit. And that's how we can scale the business. We build the business. We find the right people to put money into the business, property manager, no, uh, sorry, uh, hard money lenders. We have private money, mortgages, uh, credit cards, all these other things. And then we buy the property, put it into our business. And that's how we scale the business to quit our job mm -hmm. and reach financial independence.